tipsy cause I've been sipping on Henny. I got the study of my vision and she ain't from the city. If she ain't foreign, then she boring. Love the way you twerk it, shawty. Throwing money on her own, I call it independent, shawty. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit here on Forza Motorsport 7, staring at that beautiful M4 drift build that we did. If you guys missed that last episode, make sure you check out the drift build on this M4. But we are not going to be driving that M4 today. For today, we are doing something else. I was scouring around the internet, and I found something very interesting. Not only am I a Forza fan, I'm also a Halo fan. So I've been playing all the Halos in the franchise. So I came across... Uh, a post about there being Halo driver's gear in Forza 7. And uh, you have to enter in one of these uh, Rivals challenges to unlock two Halo gears. So we're here today to do one of those to see if it actually works. Um, ooh, that M4, those brakes. But this is also a poster giveaway. It is day 16 of the 25 days of christmas giveaway here on the channel so if you want a chance to win the autographed poster that i'm about to show you guys make sure you comment in the comment section down below as well as like and subscribe to the channel i do appreciate all the support from every single one of you guys so today's autograph poster is that of the autograph poster of nate hamilton definitely a pretty awesome poster it's uh posters are getting a little bit bigger as 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 the uh 25 days go if you haven't noticed um nate hamilton definitely an awesome driver love that car love his livery always a very good driver and very uh showy driver as well so like i said we're here today to see if we can get those driver's gears for the halo so we got to go here into single player into rivals and one of them says it was the vip rival so we're going to go here, and it is the Cool Running on the bottom list of, that I showed earlier. I'll show it again. You guys see Cool Running is one of the Rivals lists on there to unlock the two driver's gears. So we're going to do this. Brave the Slopes in the 2013 Ram Runner Forza Edition. Uh, and we got a Rival up there of a 6 minutes and 28 seconds target time. And it looks like he probably hit the wall and went off track because it's got an indicator on it. So, uh, we're going to hop right into this and give this a go. Yep, I have a Ram Runner, yes. Uh, due to restrictions, do you want to... Yes, sure. Go back to normal, install, yep. I don't remember what I did to this Ram Runner to uh, get it up there, but apparently it was not able to be in there. So, we are on our Logitech G920 with... NRG Innovations 350 millimeter wheel, hydraulic handbrake, H pattern shifter in our NRG Innovations bucket seat, but I don't think we will be using the handbrake in this episode. But we will see if Forza loads because right now it's just black screened. Um, Forza, turn 10, Playground Games, where you at? Mm, why are you broken? Um. So does anybody else have this issue? Ah, all right. So we got it to work this time. We are back. We got it to work. Um, I think maybe because I left my game open overnight. I'm not sure, but we are here in the Bernie's Alps full circuit in the Ram Runner trying to complete this challenge and hopefully unlock some, you know, hey, Halo driver's gears. Excuse me. Just had a really bad hiccup. Okay. So. Let's do this, Burmese Alps, Ram Runner. <laughs> My wheel lock just popped, we're good. All right, so. Hopefully this works. Uh, why is that man going backwards? I mean, that was pretty sweet on his, uh, on his thing. Probably gonna do this on in car because we're just trying to race this track. Wrong gear. So we just gotta beat. Oh, I must have went off track because I already got a indicator. So we just gotta run this track, I believe, and beat his time. Oh, 
that's not gonna help. Ooh. I, th I feel like we're gonna try and slide this thing, just to make it fun. Oh, that's not gonna help. Oh, that was a bad idea, but we're still good. I feel like his target time of six minutes is definitely him sliding around or doing something. So we're gonna definitely try it because I don't think we actually have to, I think we just have to c compete in it. This thing does not want to slide at all. So I'm just trying to do this to get the driver's gear. So hopefully this works. But otherwise I will be very sad and this would be a big, big waste of time. We're gonna send it. Full send. Oh, we fully sent it into the wall. Oh, this truck is so slow. Uh, the good note is, you know, the coolant temperature and everything is good. Uh, oil temp's good. Battery voltage is good. Uh, full tank of gas. We're good. We only have 6.7 miles in this truck, though. Haven't driven this thing a lot. God, this thing on the steers is like, there is no other. So hopefully with this we can get that driver's gear because uh, this is probably uh, a big waste of time if it doesn't work like I've said already. Ooh. We need to come slotting here in Burmese Alps. We may actually do that. We may bring out that M4 and do a little slide here in Burmese Alps to end this episode off if we get it so we're going to be able to cross this with two minutes and probably 35 seconds 36 all right so we beat him which means it should have worked so we're gonna finish the race hope this works continue we did beat him So we got first place, we got our achievement stuff, but now did we get the driver's suits? I'm hoping we did. So we're going to go check that out now. So we're going to go back, we're going to check and see if we got some new driver's gears. It does not look like we did. So, well, that's a fail. So, let me know down in the comment section down below if you guys know about this. Because, uh, according to my information, you just had to uh, complete it or just do it. No, you know, nothing really. It just says, to get both, you simply need to participate in any of the following rival events. In Forza Motorsport 7 before January 3rd, 2018, and we just did Cool Running VIP. So let's try maybe another one, and we'll try one more and see if it works. Where's the community featured events? Bounty Hunter Challenge, December Car Pack Challenge, those are two more that are on the list. We have the Bounty Hunter Challenge. December car pack challenge and make a run so we're gonna start off with the top one and uh, definitely gonna get in that beautiful Porsche I think yeah, I think you guys saw that wheels like start to break there so this is the December bounty hunter challenge so we're going to give this one a run and then we're going to true the December car pack and maybe make a run. Maybe we'll do all of them and see. It says you only have to do one, but we're going to definitely try and get this because I would like some Halo driver's gears, you know. All right, so we're at Hockenheim in that beautiful Porsche. Are we going to we are starting from a standing start. Oh, just listen to that thing. I have no gear, or no, uh, I can't even 
see what gear or anything I'm in. I mean, I know what gear I'm in based on, you know, my shifter, but... That's better. So this guy came flying past us in the beginning because he was on a hot lap. Ooh. Porsche is getting a little squirrely. I don't think we'll be able to catch this guy on the first run, so we're gonna have to probably do a hot lap like he was in this Porsche, which I would not object to driving this Porsche. Surprised I don't own one of these yet. I might. I haven't really checked. But this thing is nasty. There we go. Oh, a little bit on the grass. We're good. I feel like we could have actually caught this man. Even with him being on a hot lap. All right, we'll be on our hot lap next lap. Oh, yep, because we're definitely going to have to get it on the next hot lap. Tried to cut that a little bit too close. Ooh. I think I got grass on tires. It's getting a little squirrely now. We're not trying to drift this Porsche, although it would be pretty fun to try and drift this Porsche. There we go. All right, we're going to be on our hot lap now. So we should be able to be right there with this guy. We'll try to do it without a... Although we did still have that icon, so... Hard on those brakes. This guy's pretty quick. We may have to try a different camera view if we can't get him on this. I don't think the camera view is making that much of a difference, but I probably might be faster in a different view. I don't know. Or maybe my lines are just really off, which is very well likely. This guy, this, this man's ghost is pretty quick. Oh, that's not gonna help. Oh, it's down track. Oh, we're good. Barely, but we're good. Oh, we lost it. Alright, so we're gonna try. We have to try and get a really good run off this turn. So we can try and get the fastest hot lap possible. All right, here we go. This third time's the charm, right? That was probably greasy, but we're good. Hard on the brakes. There we go. I see his line, and I probably should try be trying to follow his line because this guy's really quick. There we go. He may have came out of that turn just as fast as he did. Try not to get the back end of this uh, Porsche loose like that. It's definitely not helping our cause. Or nor is that. Ooh, can't catch this guy. This guy's car is quick. He probably has a setup. Porsche is, I believe, you can run your own cars, so this is not working out too well. 
think we can give it one more shot here. Let's see if we can't do it. If we can't get it this time, then... Then I think we'll just have to cut our losses. Although that was uh, kind of a cheat, but... I think we'll take it. At this point right now, any little edge I can get... It wasn't really that much of a cut. It was a little cut. It wasn't a lot, but... I can see, definitely see right there, I'm a lot slower than him. And we're back to where we were. Behind. Oh, Alright, so we're going to finish this one. We're going to try another one because I still don't think it's working. So this is kind of a, a waste of time in a sense. But, you know, something different than drifting. But we will be back drifting, of course. You know we will. Okay, I will take that free Formula E because I will probably need that. Thank you. Continue. All right, so let's check into another one of these events. Give it one, another event a try. And uh, see what we can do. So we just did that one. So now we have the December car pack. And then make a run. So, December car pack, take the Jeep 2018 Jeep Grand Cherokee to have for a spin. We'll do it. Gonna buy a car? Oh, I actually have never not downloaded the any of the car pack right now yet. But now we will have our Jeep SRT. This is gonna be interesting. Big supercharged Jeep at Virginia International Raceway. Let's go for it. As long as Forza doesn't break again. We're good. All right. We didn't break. We're good. Virginia International Raceway. Jeep. Rivals event. Hopefully we can uh, come out with a, with a win on this one. Because the uh, last one in that Porsche didn't didn't go right, right at all. It didn't go as quite as planned. Ooh. Thing sounds pretty good, too. Why is that car backwards again? I'm so confused on why people are doing that. I think it has to do something with funny... Funniness, but, you know... We'll see. Oh... I forgot I need to break. Ooh! Totally forgot that turn was there. I've actually never raced this version of the track before. Okay. Um, new version of track I've never done before. Never saw that section like that before, so. Well, I know we'll at least be able to beat this guy, because this guy, you know, coming in backwards unless we completely do that and realize this car does not turn as well as I would hope it would but it is a Jeep so my driving is so bad right now but I have an excuse I had a very long night last night at my office Christmas party so my works had a Christmas party there was a uh, some bowling laser tag and uh, some, you know, alcoholic beverages that were being consumed. So it was uh, definitely an interesting night, good time, had a lot of fun. And we're now we're back to the Forza grind, but definitely feeling that a little bit right now. Probably affecting my driving a little bit. So we're gonna beat this guy. Send it. 360 for style. There we go. All right. So that's that. Let's finish that off. And then we got one more to do. We're going to try doing all of them and see if maybe that'll get us some drivers here. If not, then I uh, I don't know. And this was kind of a uh, experiment on if it works. Not sure if force is broken or not or what's going on, but 
That's why we're trying every single one of them on that list. Last one. Make a run. I gotta buy this. Oh god. I can't even do this because I can't even buy that car. Don't have enough money to buy the Ferrari. So, well, I think uh, I think that means that's going to do it here for this episode here on Forza Motorsport 7. We're going to see if we got driver's gears. I don't think we did. We did not. Now I'm uh, extremely sad and uh, slightly disappointed. I don't even see them in the driver's gear sets. So I'm a little bit confused on that post, but then again, I'm not sure. So if you guys know anything, any information about this, let me know down in the comment section down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, a little bit of a different pace. So as always, you guys know you can follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, all of which are found in the description box below. If you guys want a chance to win that Nate Hamilton poster, make sure you comment down in the comment section down below. So, until next time, guys, I'm Evil Rabbit, and I'm out.